Hello everyone and welcome to a very special lesson series called Primers. Um, I would suggest that before you start with with any of the instrument lessons that you get reacquainted with reacquainted with or acquainted, let's say put it that way, with the with the theory behind um, music. Now we're going to go through this very simply. Um, We'll, we'll start right at the beginning. Uh, if there are any music teachers out there looking at it and cringing, um, I, I do apologize for that. However, um, when I first started out playing um, my musical instrument, the bass, this was a, a good way for me to start. And then it led into um, music theory, such as your um, reading music and and looking at it this way. So um, I'm starting at the, the bare basics of, of this um, and I hope you get something out of it. So the musical alphabet. Now in, in the English Western alphabet you get A all the way to Z. Now in the musical alphabet when we look at Western music um, it's roughly the same. If you take a look over here you'll see that there are um, seven letters of the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now that's where the, the musical alphabet ends with, with regards to this because when, when we play music, uh, we don't have an H chord, an I chord and all of that. What happens is that when we play, we play A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Then we continue A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now you'll see that these, these letters in blue are actually called, nat well, I call them natural notes. Now, the reason why I call them natural notes is they don't have, they, they don't have um, sharps or flats, which we're going to go through now. Um, you will also notice that what I've done over here is I've added spaces between A and B, C and D, D and E, and F and G. Um, and if we had to carry on, if A was over here, there would also be a space. Now, the thing is that with between these two natural notes and these two natural notes, these two natural notes, these two natural notes, and then between G and A, there are other notes that we have. And they are, well, I call them the in-betweeners, but what they are, we're going to look at the first, the first variation of them, and they are called sharps. Now between A and B is the notes A sharp. Okay, so we're going to go through them quickly. Uh, between C and D, we have another one called C sharp. Now you're going to see a trend over here. Um, these notes are usually named after the, the, the letter on the left or where it's coming from. So if we had to, if we had to go through them, it would be A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D. Now they are all going up in ascending order if you look at it that way. So the next the next note that we are going to get is going to be, that's right, D sharp. And then we carry on E, F. Now what do you think this one over here between F and G is going to be if we're moving up? Correct. It's going to be F sharp. Now remember what I said, that if we're carrying on, it's going to go G and A, but there's a space between G and A. And the space between G and A, there'll be a letter, and that would be G sharp. So this is basically the sharps. Now, this is going up. Now, um, the, other, the other way of looking at these notes is they have a different, they also have a, uh, an alias, a, a different name. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at those different names. Now, when we, when we looked at the sharps over here, we went, we ascended from A to B to C to D to E to F to G. Now, the aliases is when we go the other way around, when we descend. So if we take a look at that, if we look at going down from G to F, we call it G flat. Okay, and now you can see the the flat over there. Um, just a, a point that I just want to make out. You'll see, 
you would have noticed that the the sharps have a specific um, symbol next to next to the music letter, and that is the the standard symbol to show that it is a sharp. So if we're going down, remember that it's sort of the same way as sharps, but now we're going the other way around. We have F, we have E. Now take a guess at what this let this flat name is going to be over here. Okay, if you said E flat, you would be correct. Then we go to the next one, which will be D flat, C, B, and then we have B flat. And please remember that when we're going this way, we are also moving from A to G. So you will also have an A flat over there. Now, remember that G flat or F sharp, if we take a look at that example, they basically it's basically another name that we that we give that note over there. Now, when would you use flats or sharps? At this moment, we can we can deal with them as interchangeable. But um, if you really want to go into it, um, simply put, if you are going down, if you think of it as if you have a, a, a tire that, that you're letting air out, it's getting flat. Now, when, it, when that tire goes down, that is when you use flats. So when you're sharpening, when, you, when you're taking a pencil and you're sharpening it and you're making sharper, you are going up. Okay. So, um, at the moment, we will deal with these letters as interchangeable. But when you take a look at things like chord charts or anything, when you see a B flat, you'll know what note to basically look at. Now, it's very important to realize, and you probably realize already that between B, C, and E and F, I didn't say, I didn't put a, a sharp or a flat over there. Okay. So, in the musical alphabet, um, there are certain exceptions. Okay. And this will be the first golden rule that, that, that we look at. Okay. That was flat. And that golden rule it's very important to remember. Okay. So the golden rule that we have is between B and C and E and F, there are no sharps or flats. All right. So that means that when you are when you are working up where you have A, A sharp, B, you do don't say B sharp. If you're going down and you get to C, you don't say C flat, you go straight to B. Okay, that's a very, this is a very important rule that you need to remember, especially when you're going up either your fretboard or, or or whatever musical instrument you you have that necessitates that you need to know notes. All right, so all in all, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve letters basically in in the musical alphabet with these ones being the naturals the natural notes and then the in between is so there'll be one two three four five six seven natural notes and then you'll have one two three four five um, notes that are either um, assigned to as a sharp or a flat Okay, so this is part one of the musical alphabet, and remember this because in the next lesson that we're going to look at, we are going to, I'm going to give you a little bit of homework. So, um, as I said, this is part one, so look at part two. Now, part two is separated into basically, I would say, four sections. So, you need to choose the correct section for you. If you are looking at um, acoustic guitar if or or any kind of six string um, guitar then look at part 2a if you have a four string bass guitar look at part 2b if you are looking at you or if you have a five string bass it'll be part 2c and finally if you have a six string bass guitar well done, by the way. That's a that's a very uh, that's a very um, interesting instrument that you have. But that will be part two D. All right. So you have A for guitar, B for four string, C for five strings, and D for your six string bass guitar. So um, 
look for that and I will see you in part two.